Pastry tarts can be truly versatile, but it can go wrong. Hi, Paul. My tart's got a soggy bottom. What went wrong? This is an onion tart. On the outside, that looks delicious. The filling looks superb, but flip this over and there you have it, a soggy bottom. There's nothing worse. Now I'm gonna make an onion tart. There's my pastry, which has been chilled down for about 10 minutes once you've made it. And again, if you don't chill it down, you'll find that rolling it out is a little bit more difficult. So a little bit of flour on the bench, rolling pin, roll it out, start from the middle and roll up from the middle down, and then turn it, middle up, middle down, and again, turn it. If you don't turn it, it just arc welds itself to the bench. So use a little bit more flour and then lift the pastry up over the rolling pin. Lift the top up, and if you've got enough flour on it, it won't stick. Roll it up, get your tin ready, and then roll it out, leaving a little bit extra all over the top. Drop it into the middle of the pastry shell all the way around, pushing it down. So the extra bit that's here, just tear a bit off, like so. Turn it into a ball like that, and use that to press into the edges because my little stumpy fingers won't go in there, but this pastry will. And there you have it, a lined pastry shell. To prevent it rising even more, just get a fork and drop loads of little holes into the bottom. And then the baking beans. Drop that with the paper straight into the middle of the tart shell. Push your baking beans in. Now a baking bean is basically a ceramic ball. That's all it is, they're not actually beans. So push them down. You've lined your pastry shell with the paper, which won't stick, and now you've got your baking beans in there. This will go into the oven, about 180, 190, for about 20 minutes. If you bring it out before then, what happens is, the pastry on the outside looks nice and baked, and in fact, when you take the baking beans off, it looks nice and baked, but underneath, you could end up with a soggy bottom. And that's ready for the oven. Now, here is one that has been baked. Now, this has gone into the oven for about 20 minutes. You can see how dry it is. And all I've done with the excess that's on the top is just trim it off when it comes out the oven, not before. If you cut it before, it will shrink down. So once it's beautifully trimmed, now you can concentrate on the filling. A couple of egg yolks, and then six eggs. Just a little tablespoon of grey mustard, some chives, Again, the flavour in this is going to be fantastic. Cream, straight in. I'm going to whisk this together so it all remains one colour. Then we're going to pour this straight into the base. In here, I have onions and shallots, which have just been sweated down. These go straight into the mixture. Because we've blind baked this, the key thing is it stops the liquid soaking through to the bottom and avoiding that dreaded soggy bottom. So we're purely going to be baking the interior now, not the exterior. That's already done. Let's have a look at this one. There you have it. Beautiful brown, gorgeous on the top, beautiful thin pastry, and gorgeous crimping all around the outside. That, for me, is the perfect onion tart. Yeah, it's definitely the perfect onion tart. For advice, hints, tips and recipes on baking, visit fabflour.co.uk.